Okay, so um, I had one student who was having some issues um, trying to get uh, things, uh, all the images into uh, one uh, PSD file on here. So I'm just going to show how to do that real fast. So as you can see, my screen is minimized. I find this to be really helpful. New project. I'm going to click on print and then uh, just do a simple 8.5 by 11 letter and then click create in PhotoP. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unlock that layer right there. Uh, you should have downloaded the folder that's text images for Puppet Warp. So if you go into your finder and then you go onto desktop, I'm going to find that folder. It's right here, text images for Puppet Warp. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to select all of the photos and I'm going to literally drag them into the layers panel. Okay, so they should all be in there. And the reason you can't see them is because the background layer is at the top. If you were to unhide that, then you would see that you have all of your text right there. And you can play kind of with each text. And then you would want to do the same for your buffalo image. And I believe that's right there for me. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag that into my layers panel like so. And there is my buffalo. There he is. Perfect. Okay. Um, so you'll probably want to take your, um, you might even want to take the background, move it to the very bottom, and then uh, take your words and move them obviously on top of the buffalo. And so we've got um, some different words going on here. So, for example, we have the word um, A and we have the word Buffalo that are now on top of here and you can move them. You can make them bigger and smaller um, because these are images. It's not text. And then you would go to edit and then puppet warp and you would go ahead and play with the actual text on here and put points in there. So that is how I do it. I know there's a different way to also get... Um, photos into photo P. I usually would just do command C command V but that is not really working for me. I'm not really sure why but if you were to use Adobe programs that um, would work. So uh, just try the best you can but to me it's just having another um, tab open that's showing my desktop and then going into here and selecting all and putting them into there. Okay thanks.